Variation. There are two types of variations, direct and indirect. Let's talk about direct. You'll see that we have a star in a circle. Let's say these are two things that are somehow common to each other. And the arrow in the middle is kind of like an equal sign. Well, if the star gets big, look at the arrow on the left, it's pointing up. So will the circle. The circle will also get big and the arrow is going up. So there's a direct correlation between the two. When one gets big, the other one gets big and they go back and forth. Indirect variation is different. When the star gets big, and you notice the arrow is pointing up, the circle will get small, and you'll see the arrow on the right go down. So there's an indirect variation going on here, where when one gets big, the other one gets small. So instead of talking about stars and circles, let's talk about speed and distance. Now, when you're in a car and you speed up, you press down the gas pedal and you go fast, faster than usual, what happens to the distance that you travel? Is that going to be shorter or longer? It's going to be longer. So there's a relationship between these two, and that's direct. What about speed and time? Let's say you speed up. Again, you're, you press on the gas and you go, right? So what happens to the time? Does the time get shorter or longer? It gets shorter to wherever you want to go. So what type of relationship is that? Indirect. So what does this all mean? If speed, if you, if you speed up, the distance will go up and that's direct. If you speed up, the time will go short and that's indirect. We can describe this situation with one formula. Speed equals distance over time. And notice, when you say speed, speed is going high or up, the distance is also going up. And notice distance, it's in the numerator, it's on the top of the fraction, so it's going up. Speed, when you increase the speed, look what happens to the time. It goes down. And look at the formula. Time is in the denominator. Okay, another example, pressure and volume. They have a relationship. When you increase the pressure, basically crushing the cylinder, the volume is smaller. And what type of relationship is this? That's right, indirect. And if you took chemistry, it's called Boyle's Law. The next example is radius and area. They have a relationship. If you increase the radius, what happens to the circle? It gets bigger, of course. And what happens to the area? It also goes up. What type of relationship is this? Direct. And there's a formula for that. Area equals pi r squared. That's variation.